Nigerian Army graduates 6,000 new soldiers to tackle banditry in northern region and secessionists in southern states. The Chief of Army Staff, COAS, pointed out that young soldiers will be opposed to advanced military training to sharpen their newly acquired skills. The Nigerian Army has graduated 6,000 recruits from the poor Nigerian Army, saying they will be deployed to the southeast and other geopolitical zones to tackle the security challenges. This development was communicated in a press statement signed by the Director of Army Public Relations. Major General Onyema Machiko. The same quoted the Chief of Army Staff, Lieutenant General Tarid Lagbaja, as declaring that the about 6,000 recruits from the crucial part of an Nigerian Army solution to the security challenges confronting the nation. General Lagbaja made the assertion while addressing your recruits after reviewing the personal parade of the 86 regular recruit intake at the RSM Hamakim Parade Ground. The poor Nigerian Army on Saturday, 15 June 2024. The statement obtained by Sahara reporters read in part, stating further it reads, The young recruits of the poor Nigerian Army we are here to pass out today will form part of a Nigerian Army solution to the challenge of insurgency in the Northeast, banditry, and cattle rustling in the Northwest, farmer header clashes in North Central, cessationist agitation and cultism in the Southeast. Militancy and vandalism of critical national assets and infrastructure in the South, South, and Southwest. The Chief of Army Staff pointed out that the young soldiers will be forced to advance military training to sharpen their newly acquired skills. It's added that the Nigerian Army had put in place a series of postable courses and training packages to help the soldiers master the array of weapons and equipment in the Nigerian Army inventory, as well as special as well as other special soldiering skills to become more proficient in the art of war. I'm going to tell you this for free. This is the period where more people are going to join the army. And do you know why? Good. I'm going to tell you why. Some people go join the army. Or majority of the people who join this army make I tell you the truth. Now, how can I carry the entire place? Lack of work. I did tell you the truth. Some people not be what they want to do. I did tell you. I have been lucky enough to ask few of them, and they were like, as work, no <laughs> There was a time, <laughs> make I share the story with us. There was a particular time we decided to find work, way then suggest this thing to me. That was when I never know, when I still did, you know, the fine work. And now, nah, no fine work, oh. everything do skill, everything do business. So that time they were I was opportunity they told me that ah, if you know get when I was like it was that why you joined and they were like yes that was the main reason so that at least they know that as they work they get paid even if they owe them then we still pay at least they will get hope say oh see we you know yeah you you get you feel me and I was like jeez just for that reason and they were like just for the reason. I'm not saying all of them. There were people who I actually knew. There's a particular person who I knew that the person finished NYSC, came outside and was, you know, after toiling and investing in a particular business, investing time to learn the business. Imagine poetry. Imagine make you learn poetry, learn and well, then your business can be boom. You can't say you won't go serve your fatherland. You know, I could not understand it. That was when I knew that there were people who actually could what? They could actually come out and do what? They could come out to serve. They have that mind to serve. You understand? They get the mind to serve. I say, we say, they serve your, your fatherland. How? Because I was able to go, I'll serve your father. You see, now, what do you want to do? He has always been one. I said, okay, my brother, please feel free to go. And to date, I was keep asking, like, how do you feel? He said, you feel good. He feels good that he doesn't regret making the decision. I said, okay. There are people who want to say, but there are people who hunger. I just they tell them the truth, sir. I just they hint on the truth. There are people who go there because of, see, you understand. And again, I won't talk this one. This is unrelated, but I'm going to chip it in. Then it is not painful for such people, most especially people who sacrifice 
they are sacrificed. They are, they, are, they, are, they, are, they are staying with their family, hearing from their family. They go and they fight. And then, to even pay them, we no pay them. This minimum wage they shout. It isn't only for us. These people are involved. At least they will pay them well. Abi. <laughs> then police, if, if you go protest, police will carry themselves come and say, see people they protest for. Eh? Make everything day or make everything day on soft. Now they want, then they come aside. They will even send army people come. And those ones, they will come. They will say that they follow the last order. Allah, God day. Now, I don't know why they are sending this thing. No? Because the first thing I saw was they are going to be sending some of them to the south east. And I'm like, this same south. We think they for this south is where they always magnet these people go there. They don't finish insecurity with the pipe in front of say they don't feel they don't settle because I don't understand. You may think this means nothing, but it means the whole world to me. Okay, but well, that's not what we're talking about. We don't need more military presence in southern Nigeria. What we need is removal of military and police checkpoints, especially in the south. As example, Eboy, there is so much here. Let them go to the north where there is so much aggression. There's a particular period I travel to the southeast. You understand? I got, I was like, that's what I did for here. Every, every fucking, oh God, no, I cannot use the F word. Every freaking place to see checkpoint. Every freaking place, I went by road. Every freaking place. From this place to, ah, ah. Clearly, what is going on? Why did I want to, I said, I know that. What the end? What happened for you? I was like, ah, ah. And it is not, we were not seeing people, you know, get choice. They say anywhere you they call that you come down the sash. You get where you go wish. You get where you go wish you go come down, you carry your hand up. Ah, ah. Then there was the note that you get where you go wish. Free road go blow the which I do it in which I did which I did tell cook. I don't go north, I don't go south. I don't travel by road. You they go Kogi, they go Abuja, where you want to see checkpoint. Tell me. Even for the so-called place where there's insecurity. Day. Check them now. You go see, see these people, they know they shall, they know they mad. Won't get share, you want it, they're not only what you saw. They know what they're saying. What's it? Why you go carry security people go there? Just tell me. They know to be setting their point. You, I say, you know, go see, you know, go see people for you know, which check, how many checkpoints? How many? You know, go see, they blow, they go, road, they free. Ah. Yes, these people they live in another world for you. I said, I make you see now another world that they live for you. After them, tell me why these people no come outside they talk. <laughs> uh, anyway, people will go join army. You say make na congratulations to now, but make na eyes they open. Now battlefield I mean na battlefield and day. Even civilian this period, they nobody get joy for them. So make na open na eyes and make na use empathy. They carry out in a duty. All right, and this would have come to the end of the news. We so thank you for sending in to listen. Until I come, you'll be next time. Enjoy the rest of